Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a review on an order of, uh, that I'm making from Wawa Direct. I believe this company is located in Canada. Um, however, if you look in their frequently asked questions or their about us section, they're going to tell you that they have an office in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and that they catch the fish in Canada and they distribute them to different points for the best shipping. Um, so I guess these things get frozen in Canada and then sent frozen to a distribution center and hopefully they stay frozen before they're shipped out to you. Now I live in Texas and uh, why would you order fish um, from Canada in Texas? Well, I'm ordering bluegill, and the bluegill up north where I come from in Wisconsin, which is pretty close to Canada, are, in my opinion, very superior to the brim or sunfish. Uh, the same general species that we would catch down here in Texas. They just, The lakes up north are uh, somewhat colder all year round, and in my opinion, the fish taste better. So, um, I'm trying to, in, in my younger days, I lived in Wisconsin and I've eaten a lot of bluegill, so I know what good bluegill tastes like. And after I get through making this unboxing video of these Walleye Direct Bluegill, I'm going to make another video where I cook these up and give you my honest opinion on how they taste. I've seen a, a lot of comments around the web about this company. So I thought it would be nice to make a YouTube review to show you guys what I actually experienced. And I have very high hopes. Um, I paid good money for my uh, five pounds of bluegill, uh, $149, which they say are 15 to 20 fillets per pound, and uh, another $90 for overnight shipping. They offer you, oh, here, and they say, want it by March 28th. So when I ordered my bluegill, um, the this little indicator here said March 27th, which is tomorrow on Wednesday. So I ordered these on Monday the 26th, and they said choose overnight at checkout, which I did. So I'm expecting these fish tomorrow um, on March 27th via FedEx. But now let me tell you how it's going so far. So far, at about 5.45 today, I noticed I hadn't received any delivery confirmation. And usually when I order from anybody on the web, I get a confirmation and a tracking number. The tracking number is important to me because as we all know, there's porch pirates out there. And I want to try to be home around the time these fish are being delivered. So without tracking, I don't have any idea. I, I did try to call them and uh, I got a recording. And so I went to um, let's see, I went to well, I went to their contact me and uh, so and they say their business address is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, the payment address is in Canada. When I first sent this form to say, hey, where's my order? I got an error message a couple of times. So I went back to look at their FAQs and they say you have to have Java turned on to use this form. And I don't have Java turned on on my computer, but tonight when I sat down to make this video, they did say uh, they accepted my inquiry and uh, a walleye direct representative will contact me shortly. Uh, I don't know what that means. But anyway, um, and I'm not really, I mean, I didn't, ex <laughs> well, why would you order fish and not have it sent overnight? They, I read their reviews and the people say they're packaged well. They arrive frozen. Uh, most of the reviews are five stars. But in average, it's four and a half. So here, uh, 
5 stars 134, 4 stars 10, 3 stars 10, 2 stars 6, 1 stars 4. Um, I didn't read all these reviews, but the one review that I did kind of look over was the person complained about the fillets being small. But, you know, unless you get into a batch of adult males or uh, spawning females, your average fillet uh, is not going to be real large on these. And they do say you get 15 to 20 fillets per pound, and they package them uh, in five one-pound plastic frozen packages. So uh, let's just take a look at the math on this so you can see what you're getting for your money. Um, let's see here. Okay, $149. That's, uh, oh, I'm not, yeah, divided by five pounds, that's $29.80 a pound. Um, if you add in the $90 I paid shipping, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Two hundred thirty-nine divided by five, forty-seven eighty. Now, I know you're saying, "Whoa!" But look at it another way. If I take my wife to a uh, our favorite seafood restaurant, we're probably going to spend in the neighborhood of fifty dollars plus a twenty-five percent tip. So. If these taste as good as I think they're going to taste, I'm going to be having five meals um, at home for less than what I would pay to take my wife to a seafood restaurant, which the best fish we're going to get around here in a seafood restaurant is going to be redfish. And they're going to taste good, but they're not going to taste anything like a good bluegill. Let me tell you, if you've never had a good bluegill, you don't know what you're missing. So anyway, um, I'm making this video and I'm going to unbox when these arrive. Uh, I'm going to add a notation. Did I really get these on Wednesday like the website said? Um, or did I not? And then when I do get them, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to rate that part of the experience of, of when did I get my fish. And then I'm going to open and unbox these on camera. So you can see what it looks like because I know there's a lot of scuttlebutt about this co uh, company around the internet so um, and I love bluegill I'll, I'll go back and order some walleye if I'm satisfied with this order uh, and some of these other fish that you just can't get down here in Texas I mean try to catch a walleye in Texas or a uh, let's see what all they have perch you can't get perch down here I don't like rainbow trout, but you can't get northern uh, pike down here. I've never had a whitefish. We do get crappie down here, and the crappie down here in Texas tastes pretty good. Um, I had a friend that would catch crappie and bring them to me, and they were uh, delicious from Texas. The uh, brim or uh, sunfish, which is equal to a bluegill, not so much and uh, you know I might try some catfish from up from up there we get good catfish down here but anyway so without further ado I'm gonna go on to tell you when do these fish arrive and uh, and video the unboxing for you hope you guys enjoy this uh, I'm gonna be totally honest I'm either gonna like this experience or I'm not and uh, we'll see you. Hey guys, <clears throat> just an update on this. Um, I ordered this overnight, these fish overnight from Walleye Direct on Monday the 24th. 
their website said for overnight shipping you know you can get it on Wednesday the 24th that didn't happen but it was kind of my my own fault because I ordered it later on in the day so if you want to get next day delivery be sure to order your fish early in the day uh, you know they've got to pack it up and ship it so when I emailed uh, walleye direct they were responsive and they got back to me and said it's going to be shipped tomorrow uh, that would be uh, Wednesday uh, the, the 27th March 27th and uh, then they followed that up after they shipped it on uh, Wednesday the 27th with this UPS tracking for overnight next day air saver so this far into the process I would have to say a walleye direct is responsive B you know you you got to order early in the day if you want to get next day don't order late in the day um, and C so far in this part of the review I'm going to give them five stars uh, for the way they've treated me and uh, I'm going to get this package today here pretty soon then I'm going to have an unboxing and show y'all what I get so we'll okay, see everyone my package arrived from bluegills direct or I'm sorry walleye direct this is a package of five pounds of bluegill I can feel the cold coming through the box uh, it pretty much came according to uh, delivery instructions so I'm going to give them five stars for that and just a reminder this is not going to be a how does it taste video this is a two-part video this is part one and it's just about the ordering and delivering and rating them on that and so far they're doing pretty well have had no real hiccups uh, so we're just gonna take a look in here and see what we got and after that I will conclude the video put these in the freezer and um, then we'll make another video in a day or two I'll cook some of these up uh, here's dry ice please read keep out of reach of children do not touch with bare hands this package contains dry ice which is frozen carbon dioxide most if not all of the ice should be gone when you receive the package but if there is some remaining uh, please read on dry ice is extremely cold it may cause severe frostbite if it comes into contact with bare skin it is harmful if eaten or swallowed if ingested or if frostbite occurs seek medical treatment immediately dry ice must be handled carefully do not touch to the skin mouth or eyes do not put in drinks do not eat do not store in areas other than those that are open and well ventilated never pick up dry ice with bare hands always wear hand protection shut up Ahmed Uh, do not put dry ice directly onto tiles or solid surfaces, countertops, as the extreme cold of dry ice may cause surface to crack. Using a towel or mitt to protect your hands, remove the dry ice aside, remove the product, then simply put the ice back in the package. It came in. Within 24 hours, the solid dry ice will convert to gas. Do not breathe the carbon dioxide and gas deeply for an extended period of time. Glad you told me. And by the way, um, if for any reason I'm not happy with this, uh, they say on their website they won't take it back. So once you bought it, it's yours. I'm a little concerned about that, but here's a cushion here and it is cold there's the dry ice pack right there so I am going to 
take an oven mitt and remove this. No harm, no foul there. And we have another box within the box, and it is cold. So, let's get this out of the way. And, uh, let's take a look at our five pounds of bluegill. You know what, folks? Just to be completely accurate with you guys, how about we put this on the Accutech scale just to be sure we got five pounds because this fish it's expensive like I say if it turns out to be everything that I expect it to be I will be happy Okay, so they said they're supposed to be five packets. There's what a packet looks like, and they are somewhat small and they are skin on. They're filleted on one side. Don't know if my wife's going to like that, but I'll cook this up and batter it without her seeing it. She probably won't even know. I know when I was a kid up there, my grandfather always skinned these. So package one is 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1 ounces and a little more. Package two, one pound the first package was one pound four ounces package two is one pound point five point five of an ounce package three one point one ounces one pound point one ounce Package four is one pound one ounce. Package five is one pound one ounce. So in reality, I actually got about five pounds and uh, five and a half pounds. So at the cost of this, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, now, this is going to conclude this part of uh, my experience with Walleye Direct ordering uh, five pounds of bluegill. Uh, the fillets are small, but uh, each one of these packages should make a pretty good meal, I think. And... Uh, I want to thank you all for coming by to visit this video. I hope it is helpful to some of you guys out there who are thinking about ordering from Walleye Direct and aren't quite sure if you're going to get what you expect. At least as far as ordering and shipping, I got to give them five stars. Uh, they're responsive. They got it to me frozen. This stuff is frozen, but I did order over, overnight, so keep that in mind. They offer three tiers. One is second day air, and one is a ground saver. 
I can't imagine anybody would order that. Uh, so, and they're vacuum packed. Um, when we caught these, when I was a kid, we used to freeze them in a block of water. So now the only thing to determine is uh, how well are these going to taste. I have high hopes. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming by and checking out this video. And I'm going to make a link uh, up there at the top to the uh, cooking video which should come out in a couple of days. I'm eager to have a pack of these, but I'm probably going to be in a day or two. And so, <clears throat> uh, thanks guys, and God bless y'all, and uh, really appreciate the growth of the channel. And I'll make another link to the, to the cooking video at the end of this video, as soon as it's up there. And then I'll also link back to this for you guys who are just going to see part two. Uh, so you can come back and see part one. God bless y'all. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.